Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Um, we have Olive behind me, a chocolate lab, and we're going to go to Blairstown um, on November 7th, I believe that's the identifier, um, just to go for a uh, for flight. Just got the plane back for annual. Um, only thing she got was new sneakers. So, uh, Everything else is pretty good. Let's listen to the weather here in Orange County. 100. Orange County Airport, Montgomery, New York. Automated weather observation 1144 four. Zulu. Wind 210 at 04. All right, we'll use 22. Two. And Orange County traffic. I'm in 3 Delta Alpha, departing runway 22 with a right downwind departure straight out to the north, Orange County. So we are going to go there. Um, and yeah, just like I was saying before, the plane got back from annual. The only thing it needed was sneakers and everything else was perfect. Um, uh, no issues. All in the 70s with the, uh, the compression test. I think the lowest I had was 72, uh, which was good enough for me, obviously. And everybody else, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I was going for a quick flight this morning. We'll see how she flies. She flew perfect back from Mount Pocono. MPO is the identifier of Mount Pocono. And they're giving, actually, a free oil change to a single-engine airplane uh, for the fly-in. So they're helping sponsor, obviously, the channel here and also going to help sponsor the... Uh, uh, the I said barometer check, I bet you it's going to say. Uh, yep, check barometer. We didn't do that yet. We will do that in run-up. Um, so yeah, they're going to do change to the closest person who flies in to barbecue fly-in on June, well, June 12th uh, in Orange County here. Um, MGJ, the identifier, not the one in California or Florida. And uh, um, free oil change. Single engine airplane, free oil change, Mount Pocono Airport er, from Moira Aviation. Where, where aviation uh, is doing that for us. That would be pretty cool. So we get a free oil change out of it. All right, guys, no twins. I'm going to pull over here and uh, do our run up. It's a nice day today. So we'll get, we'll get back. Some thunderstorms a little later today, like, like normal this time of year. Um, but the dog will probably sleep back there the whole flight. Okay, checklist time. Any dandy checklist is right here. Got okay, traffic. I'm in three delta. Uh, so turning crosswind. Yeah, she can hear me. She has yeah. her uh, earmuffs almost halfway on, halfway off here. Kind of slide off her, but uh, she'll be fine. Okay, right back with you. Okay, checklist is complete. We'll stow, as they say in the airliners it in the pocket and uh, we got we're good the flaps are 15 they're trimmed for takeoff pull the power or the mixer out a little bit so we got this diamond it's taking off traffic diamond nine it's zero eight four. delta sierra the potting runway two two three celsius the area three zero two four But one November 7th, while waiting for him to take off. One November 7th, already in there. Let's go activate flight plan. 
Orange County no, Cabbages to Skyhawk, November 712 Sierra Papa, about three miles to the west. And setting up for a 45 degree into right traffic on, on runway 22. Go to 3,500, and we're heading is uh, 239. Then we'll see what the wind correction might be. Okay, he's taking Orange off. traffic, Simon. Three Delta Alpha is clear the airspace to the north Orange County. Uh, take flight aviation, folks. That's the uh, flight school here at Orange County, New York. A uh, bunch of diamonds and some twins. Uh, very good flight school rated the best, basically, in the United States. Uh, so good guys here. And they have good instructors who actually care. So it's not just pushing you through quickly. They want to actually teach you as they push you through quickly, which is uh, nice. Okay, he is up and on his way. We have nobody short base to final. I'll find out and double check. Orange County traffic. Anybody short base to final, T2? Just in case. We're good. Everything's clear to Johnson Bar. And we're rolling. I'm going to get out there and get up in the air. Orange County traffic. Mooney, 6887 November, taking 2 2 for departure. Orange County. Okay, flaps are at 15, mixtures for rich props is full forward. We are trim for takeoff, fuel pump coming off, lang light is on, strobes are on. And we are looking good. And let's roll. Things in the green. Nice and cool this morning. Orange County traffic, this is November 712 Sierra Papas on the right downwind for 60, downward, 55, and 60 rotate. Orange County traffic, Diamond 9 Zero Delta Sierra, up runway 22, departing the area to the northwest. Right Orange here County. is coming up. Olive, thank you. <laughs> I know, I feel like we're driving in the truck, don't we? Everything's in the green, we're looking good. Okay, we're gonna get the flaps up, we're pretty good. 850 feet per minute. And flaps coming up. We'll trip down a little bit more. Pull the power back so don't wake up all the neighbors here at 7.30 in the morning. Mooney 687 November departure pattern to the southwest. See you later. It's, a, it's funny because you go for your annual inspection. Hey, how are you? Um, and when you first take off, I mean, Moyer does flight tests before they give you the plane back. Um, but I think it makes you nervous. You walk around, make sure everything is good, do an extensive run up. Um, but you still have, you know, when they kind of spray stuff down. The engine compartment, whatever they do, still, you still you still smell it. You can still smell it. I mean, I just took this is my second uh, flight from the airport from Orange um, from Mount Poco to Orange County. This is my second flight for the annual. Um, but uh, you still smell that like spray smell stuff. <laughs> okay, fuel pumps coming off, laying lights coming off. We can trim down a little more. Way. We got a two five at a two five zero. We got a fifteen knot, almost head on headwind. Uh, you have a two knot uh, component crosswinds. Final for runway two two. Skyview is saying to us. I know your must kind of went down. It's probably a little bit too tight on you. I know. It's okay. It's okay. You're a good girl. I know. Oh, so we're looking good. Everything's in the green. We're going to get up to 3,500, uh, 43. This is just shy of a cross-country flight for the logbook. Just, just shy, a couple miles shy.
Okay. Look at that mixture pull back. We'll pull the power back a little bit more here. And we'll get that mixture pulled back a little bit. I'm going to go into Blairstown. No reason to go really high. <coughs> Excuse me. The flaps are up. Gear is up indicated on the panel and also the line on screen. Gear is up. Uh, now it's almost exactly a 14 knot headwind. We'll probably use... Um, Oh, shoot, what do they have over there? I don't know why I forget the simplest airports I've been to a thousand times. No? Uh, they have uh, 2.5 and 0.7, so we'll probably use 2.5. Winds are coming out at 2.44, so... Orange County Automated Advisory. Wind T10 at 3. Visibility better than 10 miles. Temperature 6026. Altimeter 3023. For runway, looking for traffic. And it's probably 2300 out here. That's the frequencies over here. That, that frequency is a multiple airports used at. Matter of fact, we're pretty close to Warwick, and it's coming up Warwick, Louisville Airport. It's also Blairstown and a bunch of others. So when it's really busy, um, it's it's hard to talk on that channel. All right, we're all looking good. We're approaching our altitude. Olive is down and out. The highway in the sky. We're gonna trim down now, and we're good with that. The Dynon Skyview HDX. What I have in the panel here, um, and what an awesome system. I pull the power back a little bit more. That's good enough. And we'll go full display on full, look at the map here, I don't see any traffic. No TFRs, got the one over here, they're probably doing military over uh, West Point here. Oh, we're not going near that. Um, uh, military practice over there, they drop bombs and stuff, it's pretty cool. So if you have a boat down in that area, um, TFR is, they do a artillery work. Um, it's funny. Boat shakes. All right. That wouldn't just change. 202, 11. We're all looking good. We are going to 1 November 7. The GPS altitude is saying we're at 3,550 on the top here. And then we're, we're going to 1 November 7. 36.4 nautical miles out, 17 uh, minutes ETA. Um, now drop down quickly as we get speed, we make up, uh, gain some speed. Uh, well, we have a 12 knot headwind, so that's going to hurt us a little bit. But we're doing true and out at 139, 140 knots. True airs uh, indicated 132 knots. Get some bumps here and there. It's hazy out, nothing really to see. Too much. Ground speed is 127 knots. In the area, uh, some TFRs down here in the city area. See some uh, games, uh, baseball games, over they're doing down there. Yep, stadium, stadium, stadium. <laughs> all three stadiums. What are they all playing uh, baseball today? Must be. It's funny. Uh, that's gonna be. That's down in the city. We're not going that way. And what is down here? What is this? What is this TFR all about? I noticed nothing on our route this morning. Uh, oh, another stadium. So uh, these indications here, Diamond the Stadium, and obviously it says Stadium on top of the Diamond, Central Jersey. So all the stadiums today 
are, uh, must be playing, doing something today. Look at that. All the stadiums are, have TFR over them. You can't fly over that area. The TFR will come down here. Close to the surface to 3,000 miles. Nothing in our area. Some weather out here, not going to hurt us. It's coming in a little bit later this afternoon. Um, you see some of the thunderstorms out here, some red spots. I mean, we're, we're, we're 102 nautical miles away from us. That's a very small cell. Uh, this is a bigger cell, but that's 157 nautical miles from us. Depends on which way it's going. Not going to affect us. A beautiful day. When it's hazy, it's typically not that windy or bumpy, I should say. So um, I like that. I like. I don't like a lot of bumps. It's just uh, I don't mind it. It's just not fun to fly and all that stuff. So if you are going to fly in at the at the flying June twelfth, um, so far the weather looks good. It could change. It's still a week and a half away. Um, or by the time I post this video, it'll be probably a week away or so, or a couple days away. Uh, but uh, listen out for the traffic. Um, we're expecting, uh, you know, a bunch of planes to come in. Um, check out my, my Facebook page under events, and you guys will be keep updated. Uh, we have a diagram coming out for parking. We have the volunteers going to help you guys park. Um, all that fun stuff. Um, so just uh, listen to the radio. And uh, Take Flight Aviation, uh, Flight School in Orange County is always up and out and about, so be careful of them too. But everything's in the green here. Has 73% power. Uh, indicated 134 knots. Our true airspeed is 142 knots and ground speed is 126. And we have a headwind of 16 knots, crosswind component 4 knots. Um, and that's why our course heading, well, it's not that, it's not that far off, a degree or two, depending on which way I get in the box here, uh, off on the course heading. That, that's, your, that's your crosswind uh, correction. So We're going to go straight in if we can. I'm going to hear what's going on in, in uh, Blairstown. Uh, we are 26 vertical miles away. I like to start going downhill, depending on how high, am I, how high I am. Uh, about 20, not, 20 miles out. If I'm in a lot of, if I'm higher and I'm in bumps, uh, I start 25 out to come down slow uh, because it's it's a, the Mooney is really a sleek plane, and if you don't have um, uh, speed brakes, it's kind of you know it's it's kind of difficult to not overspeed in turbulent air. Uh, so you got to be careful with all that. One of the questions I get is how 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 do Moonies fly? I mean, it flies great. Uh, my but the only thing, like I just said, is if you're in turbulent air, which is okay, the plane can handle it. Uh, when you're going downhill or descending to your destination, or ATC tells you to descend, uh, you know, just gotta kind of watch that airspeed if you're in turbulent air, and if you're going to a non-towered airport. Um, or a towered airport, let's say tell you what, what, what altitude to stay at, uh, 25 miles out, depending, you know, 5,000, 5,500, 6,500, 9,500, start coming down, you know, because you, you need to slow down, and you just can't, you know, chop the power in these high-performance planes. You know, this is 180 horse, high-performance typically over 200, uh, you still don't want to just pull the power back to idle and just nosedive. It's not really good. Some people say it doesn't matter. Some people say it's not good. That's what I do. Easy airplane to fly. Okay, so we're t almost 23 nautical miles out. I don't have the airport in sight yet. Uh, I'm going to put the laying light on. I don't have any traffic in the area. Laying light is on. We'll keep our fuel pump off for now. Um, everything's in the green. But she is just purring along here. I'm very happy the annual was nothing. But just sneakers I wanted. The, the, the shoes on this plane were 
you know, uh, old. Uh, so I had to get, I want to get new ones. Probably could have gotten the, one thing about Moira Aviation folks about Pocono, MPO is the identifier, is they don't try to jam things down your throat that you don't need. You know, they'll go out of the way and say, well, you really don't need to do it. It's fine until next year. You know, I fly typically 140 hours a year. I did 148 last year. I don't know how. Um, so he said, you're good. For, you're good. But I wanted to just change them out. So uh, they had a sale on the good year that I had. So let's just do it now. The thing with my landing light, uh, I had spare bulbs and uh, for the, the old light. And the landing light is LED now. I got it years back. They, I saw it on Spruce or somewhere I saw it. Uh, maybe Sporties, who's also, those two companies are also sponsoring the air show, or the uh, flying, thank you, uh, with some raffles and whatnot. Uh, but it was like half off for some reason. And I called the mechanic. I sent him the link. He says, not certified for your plane. I just bought it. It was like 200 change, and they're usually 400 change. Okay, 20 miles out. Start a little descent here. So slightly. Put the power back a little bit, and we'll go down to 25. Nice and easy. Um, I believe their 1400 is their um, pattern altitude, just like Orange County's. Got a 15 knot exactly headwind. Can you do me a favor quick? Sure. Where are you at? I'm, I'm actually in the air right now. What? I'm actually in the air right now. Oh, never mind. I call you. I will call right back. I'm landing in literally 10 minutes. No, it's, it's too late. I was going to have you get one of those big checks for me. You never got back to me yesterday. Oh, shoot. I thought I'd text you that. They don't have any checks there left. None of the big ones? No, oh, we looked all over the place. They don't, they don't, they don't have any left. They have all the ones we already did. Oh, the last one was for. Uh, we had one there for uh, Inspire. That was the last one. Yes, that was the last one. So whatever we ordered them from, we got to order more. Okay. I'm okay. sorry. Never mind. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Hey. Bye. That was my boss. I got to pick up when he calls me. <laughs> I have one boss. One boss. Uh, and when he calls, I got to pick it up. So, uh, he's sponsoring something, and we have those fake big checks. You put your name on it and how much we're giving you, and then we give you the real small check. Uh, so we were actually sold out, or don't have any more left. Oh, that's what he was calling for. All right. Listen for traffic, we have gliders over here, approaching 2,500, pull the power back a little bit more. So we're going to keep our eyes peeled. Uh, we're going to use two, uh, la, da, da, a two five. Let's bug two five. It's almost right straight in front of us. All right, we're good right here for now. We are 14 out. to do yet. We're getting close to start doing some stuff. Uh, taking off on an airplane is your busiest time. Especially the gear, uh, the complex airplane has gear and all that nonsense. High speed, uh, constant speed prop. And then, once you, and then once you get up to cruise, you do all your stuff and then you're chilling for a while. But then when you're going downhill and starting to, to uh, get yourself ready for landing, you get busy again. Those are two, uh, there's some traffic coming right down, down towards us. 5-3 uh, Golf. Um, those are the busiest times and the, more, the most critical times when you're flying. Um, so we're looking good. And we're going to start heading down to 14 uh, because we're already at 12 miles out. We're going to go nice and slow. This traffic is almost at our nose. He's pretty far out though, still a couple miles, maybe about uh, five miles. Uh, so we'll look for him. The landing light is on. 
like he's turning going to uh, 2 5 at Blairstown. We'll see. Keep our ears peeled. In fact, I'll do a call out now. And Blairstown traffic, Moody 680, so November is approximately 11 miles out from the east inbound for 2 5. Blairstown. Okay, let's look for this traffic. We'll put a little more power. It's crossing my path. I'm right here. I don't know if you guys can see it from that camera or not. Uh, but hopefully he crosses before I see, uh, before I get closest to him, closer to him. And that's one thing about the good ADSB, folks. I know a lot of guys are kind of uh, against it and not against it. Uh, he's crossed our path, so he's going out. Other areas I have in sight. He's going out towards the southeast. Um, Oh yeah, I I don't have any problem with it. Um, you can you can put private on there, so if you don't want anybody look following you on flight aware or whatever, you can do private. Uh, but I mean, to get in the in the in the, in the GA, we've came we've come so long. I mean, if it wasn't for GA, we wouldn't even have, it, have aviation. Let's face let's face it. Um, but. This is a lot of good equipment for us at not a reasonable price um, for what we're doing. I mean, if you're only doing local flights around the airport within 50 miles, you know, I guess you don't need to have the ADSB, whatever. But I guess you probably should too because you see traffic. So either way, I really don't, I don't see a problem with it. It's good to have, I think. Because, you know, when, even when I'm taking off somewhere, uh, and you still got to pay, pay attention because in this airspace when right now, you don't need ADSB. Uh, you can fly around in non-radio, not having to have a radio in your airplane. You don't even have to call out if you're landing or taking off or what you're doing, uh, technically. Uh, it's mostly for the Cubs and the guys who don't have uh, electric in their planes. And some guys carry portables, but you know, for all intents and purposes, you still got to look out and make sure everything is is good. Uh, you know, when you're in the the ring for Class Bs and whatnot, you have to have ADSB unless you get a waiver if you're flying somewhere. Know, to get maintenance or get it, getting your ADSB in and out, uh, you get a waiver and you could do that. Uh, but I think it's good to have. I like to I like to get a head start on traffic instead of oh shoot there's traffic let me make a turn to get away from them or whatever whatever you know direction you're at who turns right who turns left uh, the right away stuff. <laughs> I have no problem with it. All right, let's get configured. We are three, six miles out. Blairstown traffic, literally six miles out uh, from the east. We'll be coming in on 25, Blairstown. So now that there's trees, or let me rephrase that. Now that there's leaves on the trees, not trees on the leaves, uh, it's easy to see these airports. Uh, when there's no leaves and everything is gray, it's hard to see these airports that are in the woods. Let's get configured. We're five miles out. Now we're still over speed. We're not going to switch tanks yet. We're good. Pull the power back. Getting gear speed. That's what we're doing. Okay, it's at 105 knots. 105 knots. Okay, gear's coming down. All right, gear is locked. All right, that's my, that's my speed brakes, folks. You can't overspeed the brakes either. All right. Go pump. Turn on. Hang light is already on. So gas, undercarriage, mixture, prop. I'm going to watch our speed seat belts are on. I'm going to put the flaps in. And Blairstown traffic. Mooney is on a four mile final for 25. Blairstown. Alright, I don't see no traffic, no gliders. I don't see any gliders. It is a little hazy, so we'll pay attention as we all go down uh, to final approach here. Gas, under carriage, mixture props. Need. All right, we could throw those flaps in. Full, full flaps are in. We'll trim up a little bit. Blurtown 
inbound traffic, Mooney, three mile final, two five, Florestown. And then uh, that's it. we're coming in nicely here. The winds are exactly at our nose right now. It's coming at a two three eight at eight knots. Approaching altitude. Approaching altitude. That's the tra traffic pattern altitude of fourteen hundred. I bugged. It's perfect. Right in the traffic pattern. Continue to go downhill to two five. Blairstown traffic. Mooney two mile final two five. Blairstown. All right, check that gear. It's checked. I got the green light down on the uh, the panel here, and a green light down, uh, gears down on the Dynon Skyview. So gear is locked. The Johnson bar, it's either locked or it's not locked. That's how simple that system is. Looking good. Blurstown traffic. Mooney, short final. 2-5, Blurstown. Beautiful. The winds are at four knots. Two, five, one. So almost exactly on the runway of four knots right now. Which is nice to have a little bit of a lift, a lift to help 500. you there a little bit. They're a little fast. Oh, well, it's okay. All right, looking good. We are at, we need to get to 60 knots here. We will. All right, power's at idle. We should the runway. A touch fast, but it's okay. Gear check is locked. Nice. Come right down to the runway. A little bit of a push down there. All right. Those flaps back up so it won't keep flaring down the runway. All right, looks good. We made it to Blairstown in New Jersey. Use the whole runway. Speed the brakes. Burn up the brakes unless you have to. All right. Pump's coming off, and the mixture's coming out. There you have it. Nice, simple flight to Blairstown in New Jersey, one November 7th. Um, I'm going to get some breakfast, and Olive's going to chill uh, with me today. And uh, we'll see you on the way back to Orange County. Um, that's where to go next. Obviously, i got to go there next. Well, I don't have to go there next, but that's the plan. Look what I'm doing, folks. Subscribe to the channel. I do appreciate the support. Uh, and Facebook, almost at 35,000 followers on Facebook, which Facebook is usually harder uh, than uh, YouTube. Uh, but uh, I'm happy that my uh, followers on uh, subscribers on YouTube are actually watching because my watch hours are really, really high. Um, it's really surprising. It means people are subscribing and actually watching, which is nice. Uh, but thank you for that. You can me on Instagram and TikTok as well. So, if you like some merch, it also that helps me support the channel also. Uh, PilotFunder101.com um, I have some cool shirts and some stuff on there you guys can check out as well. Until next time, folks. Fly safe, be safe. And see ya.